How do you know when someone is the most valuable player in the NHL? Is it strictly based on producing wins for their team? Do you look at their individual stats in comparison to their teammates? Or do you factor in who's the most versatile and complete player in the league? Whatever it is, there's no exact formula as to what goes into determining who will win the Hart Trophy. This season, it'll likely go to either Nathan McKinnon or Nikita Kucherov. Right now, these guys are in an all-time MVP race and when you take a deeper look into why they are so valuable to their teams, you'll realize that we're witnessing NHL greatness in drastically different ways. On any given night, if you check the player stats on NHL.com, either one of Nikita Kucherov or Nathan McKinnon will be holding the number one spot. When one guy has a two-point night to take the scoring lead, the other one responds with three points and claims the top spot. While there's some other potential candidates for the Hart Trophy, really, none of them have been in the league of Kucherov and McKinnon. At the time this video is being made, Kucherov leads the NHL in points with 85, which is good for a one-point lead over Nathan McKinnon. These guys are having an all-time scoring race, and they're doing it in dramatically different ways, and it's fascinating to watch. First, let's start with Nikita Kucherov, who according to Steven Stamkos, isn't getting as much love from the media as he should so far this season, citing their market and where Tampa sits in the standings. And while there is some truth to that, a big reason why is because of Kucherov's play style. Like any superstar, Nikita Kucherov has highlight reel moments, but at his absolute best, Kucherov makes the difficult look extremely easy. He's the definition of efficiency over flash. Of course, he has the talent to go through defenders, but why would he when he can make a quick stop up and find an open man for a better chance? There may be no better player in the world at manipulating his opponents both with and without the puck. Kucherov is a pass first right winger who's a left handed shot. That means a lot of his puck touches come along the wall on his backhand. Now, many coaches talk about the importance for players to master their first touch of the puck. The best players in the world only need one touch to take the puck from a bad spot and put it in an area where they can make a play. The first touch is very similar to how a soccer player controls his first touch of the ball. Taking a rimmed puck off the wall to make a play is one of the more difficult things to do in a game when under pressure, yet Kucherov makes it look like it's just another day in the office for him. Dmitry Filipovich from the PDO podcast has an insane compilation of these plays and it's because of the sheer consistency in which Kucherov can take a bobbling puck on the wall and instantly funnel it into a dangerous option. He is simply unmatched in this area of the game. Take this play here against Chicago. This puck is being rimmed along the dasher and as a left-handed shot on the right wing, his first touch of the puck will be on his backhand. With this defender pressuring and this winger coming down low to make sure Kucherov doesn't step right in, his first touch has to be flawless. Kucherov has the awareness that the double team will open up the middle of the ice, and so he quickly touches this puck perfectly to his forehand and lays a wonderful dish to point in the slot, and good things end up happening. In this sequence, most players catching this puck would be dead to rights for defending teams. You got a winger swinging down low to pressure, and two skaters pressuring from the opposite direction when you get this puck. So there's really not much time here for him to make a play, but knowing that this winger will be on him right away and the rest of the Predators are caught down low collapsing, Kucherov's first touch is a perfect toe drag around Forsberg's stick into a pass to a wide open Victor Hedman. Kucherov is playing chess while everyone else is playing checkers. When he has possession for an extended period of time, it's like the whole game just completely slows down as he dictates the pace. Kucherov takes what he's given and then shoves it down a defense's throat. Off the rush, He's not going to beat you by going under the stick or with blazing speed. He'll simply wait for the pressure to come to him and then use his vision to make teams pay. Here, he takes a breakout pass flat footed and just waits patiently for his back checker to fly by him as he passes to the weak side D. Knowing that once he makes this pass, the checker will pressure Hedman and that will open up a lane for a pass back, Kucherov gets on his horse immediately to start the give and go. Now, you got a 2 on 3 with space closing in. This isn't ideal as an offensive player, but as point drives the middle, Kucherov uses this tiny space to stop up and take a look to activate the weak side D yet again. He finds a streak in Hedman and it's in the back of the net. Slowing down the game is so hard to do at the NHL level because of the sheer speed of the game. 
Other superstars yearn for Kucherov's patience, including McKinnon himself. When asked what area of the game he's improved the most on the 32 Thoughts podcast this season, Nathan McKinnon had to say this. Uh, I think passing. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, trying to slow the game down a little bit out there. And that's why I like watching Kucherov so much because I'm probably the opposite player as him. <laughs> um, he's just has no pulse out there. It looks like when he's playing, it's amazing to watch. And um, I think that helps his vision. He sees everything. He's never in a panic. So I think uh, mm -hmm. for me, trying to slow down just a hair. If Kucherov is the calm, nonchalant superstar that looks like he's not even trying, Nathan McKinnon is the complete opposite, and that's not a bad thing. McKinnon's specialty is to ramp up the pace to a level that others simply cannot match. And with all that speed, he has the hands to keep up with his feet and finish the plays he creates. Just because McKinnon doesn't play make like Kucherov doesn't mean that he's not an incredibly intelligent player. McKinnon has the unique awareness to understand how to time his speed, and that makes him borderline unstoppable. You see a lot of highlights of McKinnon burning guys flat-footed, and that's because he creates such an advantage for himself before he even touches the puck. McKinnon is the most explosive player in the world, as he has the most 20-plus mile per hour bursts out of any NHL player by a long shot. When he sees an opening and understands that there's a gap for him to explode into, he takes it almost every single time. By understanding when to accelerate into his puck receptions, when he finally does have possession, there's no shot that someone will catch him. Watch here how before this puck has even left McCarr's stick, McKinnon is already building speed through the middle. By the time this puck gets to the winger, McKinnon has built a full head of steam and is the fastest player on the ice by a mile. A simple chip play and now he's off to the races to set up a goal four. This ability to build up speed prior to touching the puck makes him one of, if not the deadliest player off the rush in the entire league. While Kucherov loves going east-west on the rush and attacking in layers, Nathan McKinnon insists on going north-south and really, no one can stop him. Even in the offensive zone when McKinnon has possession, he weaponizes his acceleration and attacks the middle of the ice whenever he gets a chance. Here, McKinnon doesn't opt to be passive. Where a player like Kucherov may slow this puck and wait for a passing lane to open up, McKinnon is the opposite playstyle. He attacks straight into the middle of the ice, and here, he isn't actually going that fast, but it's the aggressive suddenness of his approach that makes everyone look like a deer in headlights. Both Nathan McKinnon and Nikita Kucherov are dominating the NHL, and right now, they're in a league of their own by playing two completely different styles. While one player slows everything down to pick apart a defense, the other takes it to a gear that simply overwhelms his opponents. Both styles, albeit drastically different, have been critical to their team's success this season. The result is one of the most entertaining scoring races that we've seen in years for the NHL, and we're only halfway through. With one team at the top of the league and the other fighting for a playoff spot, the narratives will ultimately decide who takes home the MVP. Either way, when you sit back and watch how these two are truly mastering the game in their own unique ways, it is abundantly clear that we are witnessing NHL greatness.